now we are in Susamu Valley. And the reason we are here is because we are going to Sarichalek Lake. It's a very popular tourist place. So this place called Tuashu. <laughs> And on top of this little hill is a grave. We have stopped here. It's still Susame Valley for a very quick break to buy um, honey and kurut. And kurut is the Kyrgyz national treat made of um, uh, made of sour milk. That's what it looks like. And this is Kurupsai Hydro Power Station. This is not too far away from Narin. And this is Narin River. Beautiful river. So this is a cafe and a house. Most people so they use uh, their place as a viewpoint. And that's a viewpoint. <laughs> this is what uh, the Tok to Go water reserve looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> So the, these two rivers, one river is uh, Narin River and the other one is Karasu. If you walk probably like uh, 200 meters from here, the water would probably be the same. So we have arrived to Sarichalek. It's a beautiful place. We are staying in a guest house. It's lovely. I am very lucky to have a, a big, very big, uh, spacious double bed, all to myself. And look at this beautiful rose garden. It's lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a countryside. Um, say hello to the cows. Look at this lovely beauty. Oh, there's another cow. So we are waiting for our dinner, which is gonna be probably in another 20 minutes, 15 minutes. And then we'll get ready for bed. Tomorrow we are waking up very early. Maybe like, oh, not super early, maybe like 7 a.m. And off to go to the lake. It's our driver. Извините, я забыла ваше имя. Болот. He's our uh, driver, Bolot. Uh, yes, he, uh, so he's gonna uh, stay with us uh, in this guest house for uh, two days. Our hosts are very hospitable people. Look at that, they're getting us uh, dinner ready. So it is a very good morning at Sarichilek. And we are getting ready for our trip to Sarichilek Lakes. And yeah, we slept very well in this guest house. I slept like a baby. That hasn't happened for a long time. Because uh, uh, when you live in a big city, you hear lots of noises. Over here, there are no noises. So yeah, it was beautiful. Fresh air. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about our trip. 
Look who I found. Blue. Cute baby. Looking at me. Много военных, милиционеров и так далее. А, и в то время, а, конечно, лодок не было, потому что лодки считаются под запретом там кататься, но егерь с табашем и катать людей на лодке. А, мы пришли, лодок не было, а, и, соответственно, нельзя было купаться, потому что было очень много военных. So, we just arrived to the place where we are going to start our hike. And uh, there are two hike levels. Level one is um, a lazy one. You get to the lake on a bus and stay there. Oh, easy. And level two is uh, 17 kilometers in total, both ways. We are going to Panorama, that tall mountain at the back behind the tree. You probably can't see it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting. We'll uh, go to the place uh, from which we can see Five lakes. By the way, Search Lake is um, a seven lake place. That's a uh, national park. So we won't see all seven lakes. We'll see five or six today. So a guide, rain red, so we can see him from the distance. I think it's a very smart decision. In case if uh, he's far far away, means we have to catch up have to run very fast because uh, well never been here before so while we were in the bus we were told not to touch stri strictly advised not to touch any plants because some of the plants like borshevik don't confuse it with bolshevik it's gonna burn your skin uh, back in uh, previous trips our guide told us that some tourists uh, I'm uh, assuming they're probably girls. Uh, they're like uh, picking a beautiful flowers. I can't say beautiful flowers. Yes. Uh, or probably men saying, oh, look how beautiful flowers. So I'll bring some um, for my wife or girlfriend. And then they end up with the burning skill, skin. All in good. You can see on this road you cannot really uh, drive a, a car you can probably get away with the bike our group is behind they'll they'll be okay so yeah i'm so excited we are going to see the lake in fact five or six lakes and look at this definitely do not touch that we had that my grandma used to have that on her backyard and I touched it once, but my skin was burned. So this is a blueberry, or sorry, blackberry. You can touch this one, but do not touch that one. Because that's really bad. Somebody lost their mirror. Probably a girl. I was checking her lipstick. So that tall plant tall grass with this one that is Bolshevik that's the one that will burn your skin but depends if uh, if your skin is exposed to sun it will burn it if not probably not but I won't I won't dare to check And this is the place where the uh, honey comes from. This is the first lake, Kalakol. Kalakol. And this is a beautiful panorama. It really is. Absolutely gorgeous.
Look at this carpet of flowers. I think it's in full bloom. And this is the second lake, Cho Chocko. How beautiful it is. Help us grow, like, share, and subscribe. Well, everyone is still taking pictures. Our guide said uh, you had enough of that. Okay. Walk down there and uh, wait where the river starts. Take more pictures. It's a very, very narrow path. Only one person can walk at a time. So the lake, Choichok, in Kyrgyz language means big plate. It does look like a plate, or a bowl. Ball, I should say. I'm not an expert in Kyrgyz language. Now we are walking towards Panorama where we can see three lakes from. So this is gonna be a harder hike because it's approximately 30% 30 degree in time. We'll see. Now we approached uh, third destination two lakes the one on the left called Aramco and the one on the right that looks like two lakes together it's actually only one lake called Ilikol that's so beautiful so we'll keep going up until we reach the panorama but honestly this place the whole place is panorama because <laughs> you just walk and walk and everything is just beautiful The smell is just amazing. All this beauty, beautiful blooming flowers. They have such an amazing aroma. Oh, just incredible. And do you hear that? Bees. You can't even hear birds, but lots and lots of bees. Absolutely incredible. We're still walking towards Panorama. Uh, <coughs> a few people fall behind because you know, people take it slow, taking pictures, having a rest. And it's not one of those trips where you are in a hurry. You have to do everything quickly, rush, 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 and back to the bus. And the reason for that is because we are staying here all day. As long as we manage to get to Panorama and back before 6 p.m., 
it should be fine. Every next vantage point is is just better than previous one. Like it's just incredible. It can't get any better, but uh, we're still gonna see even better place at the panorama. So yeah, it, I'd say this is most picturesque hike I've ever had in my life. But this hike is the best. And I've been on many, many hikes in a few different countries. But this hike beats them all. It's just incredible. Absolutely beautiful. Very picturesque. Highly recommend. We're still walking and walking and the area is just becoming more and more beautiful. I don't know how can more beautiful it can be, but it is. We've done about four kilometers. Okay. John, probably half a So maybe more than four kilometers. Uh, I guess the most difficult part of the climb. Still very doable. So we have arrived to the fourth lake. Can't remember the name. When you point it, how it called? So none of us remembers how, what's the name of the one lake. Anyway, it is here. We'll ask, we'll ask the guide later on and keep you updated. We just got like maybe 20 meters up, no, probably even less. And from this position you can see all three lakes. This is gorgeous. It is beautiful. I wonder how it's going to be here in the winters. I don't know. Nobody knows. I mean, not too many people know. Is because the um, the travels close approximately in October right. and open in May, mid May. So they don't have any tours during winter. I would like to come here. I don't know how good it gets, but it's just getting better and better. The higher we climb. Ah, it's just getting absolutely incredible. So I can't wait to go right on, on the top of the panorama. another group of people of tourists in the distance did I say that the higher you climb the, the better the view gets well, it gets better and better so all this effort of climbing up really worth it it's just amazing. From that point, finally, you can see a small fraction of Saricha Lake. Saricha Lake Lake. Right over there. So, yeah, I'm excited to see the rest of the lake very soon. Can you see a red flag in the distance? 
I doubt I can see it from here. Not sure if it can be seen from the camera, but from here it looks like very high. This is where the panorama is. So at least we know where we are going. That's good. But there's very much like a lot of effort involved to get there. I'm assuming it's probably half an hour. Finally, from this point, you can see the fifth lake. Uh, like around there. Still climbing up. It's becoming more difficult, more steep. But we are very lucky today. Our guide told us if it was raining, we wouldn't be able to make it. Because, as you can see, it's very narrow, very flimsy footpath. That'd be very slippery. This water would be pouring. And this footpath would be absolutely impossible to walk on. So we've got to second last vantage point, where you can see a absolutely incredible view. It's quite high, not too dangerous, but high. Right. Let's keep going. I nearly there. The devil's they go right at, on top of that rock. I might do that on the way back. What they call panorama is just a, it's just another word. That panorama is actually everywhere in this place. Я близко не подхожу. Красавчик. So beautiful. So, I got distracted a little bit, but uh, we have arrived to the panorama. It's, it's got bad temper, this one. Oh, and this one got bad temper too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
He's throwing rocks at them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hem Julia I'm assuming this show is over. Mm -hmm. Here's the flag. Here's the view. We have arrived. That... It's salt flake. Uh, that lake on the distance is Sarich Lake Lake and there are five, uh, I mean, the four more lakes surrounding it. So, yeah, here we are. Here I am at the Sarich Lake, Lake Panorama. I'm so happy. Yeah, so so proud of myself getting here. Yeah, my uh, dream came true. I dreamt about um, visiting this place since my mid twenties, and here I am. So. Yeah, it's not that that destination is so unreachable. It just I could never make it. Always had something else in my life. Now here I am. And right now we are on a tallest point. Unfortunately, it started raining, but. Uh, Still happy I've done it. So we are on the tallest point. We can see everything from here. We can't, we can't go any tall, any higher than this. Can you see that red flag in the distance? This is where I just went to. So yeah, from this point you can see all five lakes. Oh yeah, it's time to go back. So because of the rain we had to uh, get down, start getting down very quickly because uh, the footpath is getting very slippery, a bit dangerous. And uh, yeah, so. The weather is changing very, very quickly in this place. It's been raining, now it's sunny. Hopefully we'll see a rainbow, if you're lucky. But I won't be surprised if it starts raining again. When I was right up there, uh, there were young guys from Jalalabad. Which is um, uh, which is on a border with Uzbekistan, and those guys are interviewing like almost everyone who gets up the top, uh, the place where the flag is, and uh, asking them questions, the impressions of the uh, of the Sarich Lake, and uh, they asked me what are my impression, where I came from. So I'm from Australia. They were very surprised. I said, "Oh, all this way from Australia." <laughs> that dog decides that uh, he wants to come with us because people feed him. So it's good. Uh, 
last time I, I was passing that rock, I didn't get up. I think that's the time. I have to get up on this rock and see what's up there. the world. Horse is the best transport in this place. Yeah. The past got slippery. Have to really be careful. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. А как хорошо, что у вас конь, свой транспорт. Он не лягнет? Не, не, не. Нет. So he's saying that uh, it's not his horse. He's uh, renting it. And uh, the cost is 2,000 soms. Which is... Give me a second. 33 Australian dollars. Approximately. So uh, 2,000 songs, that's from the village to get here and get back. Horses. When I was still walking up there, I was wondering, what's that sound? That's what it is. And right now we are walking on a different path. Um, our guide asked us if we want to go uh, nice and e and nice but long path that is not slippery, or if we want to go down a quick path but slippery. So we chose the second because you know, it's, it just creates more adventure. And uh, yeah, it is a bit slippery. <laughs> a couple of times I nearly fell over. And that's okay, it's all part of the fun. And this is uh, one of the five lakes, I mean one of the seven lakes. This one is called, it's called the Illicol. Illicol. to pronounce it so while we were walking here i was picking up rubbish after you know, tourists that think they can lead everywhere So before we head back, we're gonna get some water, spring water from this little creek and it's drinkable water. How clear it is.
How God said we are very lucky today. Guess the creek is only small this time. Last time, a couple of weeks ago, the creek was up to here. Can you see my fingers? Yeah, up to here. Okay, so from here we'll be walking around one and a half hours to get to Sarich Lake. It's another lake, or maybe it's a creek. Oh, nice. There are so many lakes in here. This is Alakol Lake, which uh, in Kyrgyz language translation would be a uh, dirty lake. The reason they call it that. Um, is because the bottom of the lake is uh, so full of mud and clay and what happened a couple of times people went on a swim and they got sucked in that mud and unfortunately the, their bodies could never be recovered so Finally, we are approaching Sarich Lake Lake. So, this is the lake on the left hand side is Kilakol Lake. That's the first lake we saw when we started our trip. And the lake in the distance, that beautiful large lake, is Sarich Lake Lake. How gorgeous it is. Finally, we have arrived at the Sarich Lake Lake. That is beautiful. Unfortunately, we cannot um, um, go on a boat because, first of all, because the national park is closing this time of the day, so everyone has to leave. And uh, second of all, it has to be done in the morning because there are lots of people who want to be on a boat, and uh, there are only limited boats available. Finally, we made it to the lake. Look how beautiful it is. That is absolutely gorgeous. So it is the shore of the lake. Look how gorgeous it is. The water is not that freezing. Actually, I expected much colder water, but uh, no, I would go for swimming here. It's beautiful, refreshing. But uh, after the trip you've done today, it would be just perfect for us. Unfortunately, I don't have my swim away with me. So I just have to sit here and enjoy the beauty. This is the lake where they prohibit using boats, but everyone does. Today was the day when they could not use the boats. I mean, this weekend. And the reason for that is because some uh, big government people arrived this weekend and they're staying in a residence somewhere. Government residence. But um, since this person is using the boat, the government people obviously left. <laughs> 